Hello everyone, this video is a tutorial of our new Calibrator app. We've added a few upgrades including support for newer iPad models and our wide vision lens. Part 1 will explain how to calibrate your structure sensor for a standard iOS camera. Next, I'll walk through our wide vision lens attachment and how to use the required checkerboard pattern. Finally, I'll cover pro tips including custom cases, calibrating without sunlight, and a few more tips on the types of scenes to calibrate against. Let's get started with the standard iOS camera calibration. Upon opening up New Calibrator, the app will automatically detect whether you're using only an iOS camera or if you've attached our wide vision lens. A slow pan across the room provides the visual information to determine the lens type. Tap the screen to calibrate and be sure you're in an area with plenty of sunlight and tap Start. I've chosen a scene that performs very well in the calibration process, and Calibrator has registered the scene's high quality feature points, indicating these with blue dots on screen as feedback to you. More blue dots means a better calibration. Now, I'll take a moment and address one of the frustrations of calibrating. We're often asked for clarification on the best environments to calibrate against. These blue dots represent the unique features from contrasted color values, which are often sharp angles or corners. The software searches areas in the camera image looking for distinct angles created by the background of the elevator shaft against the color of the contrasting wood grain. And we see this throughout, both vertically and horizontally along the wood panel. Here, the contrast can be seen between the gray and white fabric in the chevron pattern, as well as where the pattern is cut at the cushion seam and nature provides plenty of sharp, distinct angles. Once the software is satisfied, it will proceed to the next step of aligning the depth to your color camera. Use the colorized depth image to shade your object and align the depth to your color image that you see here on the screen. After correctly registering your depth image, a calibration file will be uploaded to your structure sensor. With the right environment, you can calibrate your sensor to your iOS device in seconds. Now, Let's move on to part two where we cover wide vision lens calibration. The wide vision lens is an accessory that fits most newer precision brackets for structure sensor. The new lens increases the field of view allowing your iOS camera to see more unique features. This ability is especially important when 3D mapping larger spaces. For example, with our Canvas scan to cad application and with Bridge Engine, which powers our Bridge headset for mixed reality. With the wide vision lens attached, open Calibrator and the new lens will be detected. Tap the screen to continue and begin the wide vision lens calibration process. Swipe the screen to the left and you'll see a link to our checkerboard pattern. Print out or display the pattern on your computer screen. Swipe the screen to the left once more and you'll see an illustration representing how you'll need to position your device with respect to the checkerboard. I'll walk through the five vantage points. Use the overlay pattern to match the distorted shape of the checkered pattern as seen on your screen. Start by closing in on the center bullseye to help align against the pattern. When Calibrator recognizes the match, it will snap to the grid pattern. The current overlay will disappear and blue, green, and yellow diagonal lines will align the inner corners of the checkerboard, signifying a successful pattern match. After the five positions have been captured, the app will proceed to the bracket calibration process just like in the standard calibration. So far in this video, I've covered the foundation of our Calibrator app. In this final section, I'll cover special features of Calibrator. The first of these are custom cases. Using a custom case requires inputting specific measurements. This page on our website provides instructions on how to measure the position of the structure sensor to your iOS camera. If you purchased a case on Shapeways or Thingiverse, the creators will likely have the measurements posted on their store page. For example, I recently purchased this custom iPhone 7 Plus case on Shapeways, and the seller already had the measurements as one of the product images. Next under Pro Tips, Calibrator has an advanced indoor mode feature for when you need to calibrate where sunlight is not available. When Calibrator asks for sunlight, wait momentarily, and in the bottom left corner you'll see this Enable Indoor Mode switch. Tap that switch to On, tap OK, and Start. With Indoor Mode enabled, Follow the feature detection concepts I described in standard mode at the first part of this video, including an environment with distinct angles and edges and contrasting colors visible in good lighting. A few things that work indoors include keyboards, and even US currency registers pretty well. 
Check your cupboard for non-glossy boxes with text and logos. Keeping aware of glare from the sensor's infrared emitters. After you find a scene with many features, simply rotate or move your device to use the scene's features again. We hope you found this video helpful. Let us know if you liked the video, and please, post a question in the comments if you'd like more explanation on the concepts discussed here.